bitches welcome back to soap by ray i'm your girl ray and this is my youtube channel bitch um please don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time i post you want to be notified so that you can be part of the ray fam aka the latest month of fam in the youtube land and that is just what it is and what it's gonna be um yeah don't forget to follow my social media my instagram my twitter are always linked down below in the description box as well as you can find a link to my patreon and the youtube membership where you just get videos a little bit earlier than everybody else patreon you get unedited content and yeah we about to watch the originals episode 10 of season one let's get into it New Orleans. protect me your brother was ill no reason to stay. Respectfully, Davina gonna get that lady hurt. Because clearly, like, they was sending her off because they wasn't trying to get her hurt. She was being too involved. They didn't want her involved in this shit that's going on. And it's just like, give her her memories back for what? How do we know that you didn't take her? I have no idea what Davina is or why she ran away. Can I suggest you take a step back? Period. Pooh. Several. Six feet. I can assure you I have... Give Bay six feet before you start approaching him. Running up on him like he would snap your shit just like that. She is a friend, Klaus. Well, let's hope so. Lucky for you, I know how to get her back. Follow my lead. I wouldn't follow Klaus's lead or anything, child. He always does the most to the hundredth power used by the witches lied to by Marcel manipulated by Elijah threatened by Klaus just like a modern day casket girl are you talking about Davina or yourself does it matter either way us girls have got to stick together I'm still forever going to be on the Rebecca deserves better than all of them team maybe not Elijah because to me Elijah is not a bad guy like, I'm sure he's done bad things in his life, but, like, to me, like, Klaus. Klaus is the nigga that I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust him with my life at all. Because he just, you know, he got that type of energy about him that says, you don't trust me with your life. But, like, Elijah, I trust Elijah with my life because he a man of his word. He honest. Do I see Elijah clicking up with them, like, realistically? Nah. Because he just seems so much more mature than Klaus and Marcel. But... I don't know. This is messy. You've been acting like this since Agnes was killed. Yeah. Can you blame me? It's not like I have a lot to keep me going these days. Well, while you've been drowning your sorrows by nailing everything that walks, I've been doing my tours, keeping my head down and my. This is probably like not on topic, but something she said really like I don't understand how people. When some bad shit happens to them, they turn to having sex with a bunch of people. Like, what does sex solve? To me, don't sex make things more complicated? Like, last thing I would want to do when I'm in a state of depression or, like, I'm really fucked up is be messing with the next dude. Like, or messing with a bunch of people. Like, I would want to be by myself, minding my bit, like, trying to figure out how to get myself some help. Not messing with everything that moves. What is going on here? Someone's practicing magic. They're trying to find me. Then we have to run. No fucking good. How didn't they think that Davina would still like? Did they think that just because she can't alert Marcel that she wouldn't be able to feel it herself? Like all she would have to do is feel it and then run. He knows. Cammy. Oh my God. Who knows? Can she really be mad at him though? Like I thought that this whole vampire and the wolves and all of that shit was supposed to be kept a secret so that they not found out. So that people is not like hunting them down and shit. Like I thought that was the purpose of it being a secret not everybody knowing this shit but like she can't really be mad that he didn't tell her because this if he had told you oh we just put a hex on your brother uh as a regular mind person you wouldn't have looked and thought to yourself like oh 
would just put a hex on my brother? No, she would have been like, you're fucking crazy, dude. Help me complete the harvest and I'll undo the curse for you. But what can I do? I need to consecrate the remains of a powerful witch so I can absorb their magic. I know of one whose body was never found. Her name is Celeste Dubois. I believe you and she have a friend in common. Elijah. Story goes that when she died, he buried her in a secret spot at her request. All you need to do is find out where. That's a tough spot to be put in because on one hand, I wouldn't have helped. What's her name? Sophie? What a goddamn thing. She would have me fucked up even calling my phone. I'd have been like, what are you, what are you, what are you calling my phone for? Like, why? 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 Like, why are you calling my phone? And then, but on the other hand, it's like, uh, her family and she wants to know where she's from and blase, blase, blase. So like, I get it. I get it. I do. But at the same time, it's kind of like this. These shows find a way to put your character in a tough spot, man. You're lying. In fact, Marcel and I were just chatting about your failed double agent status. And we've surmised that you're likely still in town and in the company of a friend, a young, angry witch. There's fiddler soulmate Timothy alone with me. Yeah. You know what's crazy? The witches really came in and thought that they was eating the girlies up. Really thought that they was about to like take my sis down. They didn't even really think about their actions for real. Like I wouldn't have went in there knowing how much power she got. Like that's so dumb. So dumb of them, really. I'll kill him. All of them. Tavita, originals can't be killed. Maybe they can. I have so much power. I've never felt anything like it before. It's growing, gathering inside me. I'm strong, Josh. So the whole point of the harvest is that they, if I remember correctly, they take the four girls, sacrifice them, and then once the harvest is complete, they all come back to life, no? So if that is the, like, if that's the, if that's what's supposed to happen in order to keep the magic alive, why can't Davina just let that shit happen and she gets her magic back and her mans get their life back? Like, I... I'm having a hard time understanding what's wrong with, like, why Davina won't just die if she coming back to life. Like, it's kind of dumb. And then they not even thinking about the fact, like, I wonder if Josh knows that if she kills them, he dies too. So, you know, with the whole originals and the bloodline and everybody who they turn dies along with them. So I'm just having a hard time understanding. Apologies, I've been known to go too far to make a point, but I do always get results you pretend to be so confident but i know the truth you're afraid everyone can see what you really are an animal a beast why don't you show us your real face that's enough of you. Davina, you don't have to do this. You. You looked me in the eyes and lied to my little one, but you're a killer, just like your brother. For a thousand years, you fed on innocent blood. Why don't you choke on it? <laughs> And you. I trusted you. I loved you. But you were just using me to stay in power. You don't care about me. You're wrong. When you lost to Klaus, you handed me over like some trophy. Maybe I should boil you in bronze. I care. I took you in like you were my own blood. Come on now, love. Don't tell me you were falling for that. 
Isn't it time for us girls to have a chat? I am in all confusion, y'all. I just don't. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. I can't even explain what I'm trying to say. That's how now that much it is. Davina, how did you do all that? How did I even get here? I'll explain everything. If somebody told you I'm a witch or I'm a vampire or I'm a werewolf, would you automatically believe them or would you be like, ain't hey boy, ain't no way? Like, would you talk to them still? I don't know if I would. If somebody told me today that they was a vampire, I'd be like, mm. knowing all that I know from all of the vampire things that I have watched, I might believe you, but respectfully, that might be my last day talking to you, my boy. I ain't even gonna lie. That'd be the last time you heard from me. Because I ain't getting involved with the bullshit that the vampires or whoever might have going on with them. Mm -mm. Why are you doing this? My mama this? told me mind my business. See, Davina, both you and I have been lied to and taken advantage of by Marcel and Klaus. Maybe together we can get a little payback. Tim? It was Klaus. He made me do it. I didn't even know what I was doing until I made you. Made her what? Drink. Tim? Class poison the water. Tim? Davina? Oh no. There's a lot you don't understand. You hid the truth from me. You let me believe that Sean was crazy. That I was crazy instead of telling me the truth. I was protecting you. I mean, yeah, that part of it is fucked up. Like, leading her to believe that her brother was crazy when you knew the truth is kind of fucked up. But at the same time, like I said, this shit is supposed to be being kept a secret. So, he really couldn't do nothing. He could have told her a better story than he was crazy, though. I wouldn't have took that. It's just a matter of time for her. For both of them, you diabolical bastard. They're children. We could have dealt with her fairly. There is no dealing with those who threaten us. Davina sealed her fate when she stood against me. This was her choice. Letting a child die is crazy. You broke one of my rules, Sabine. And I'm guessing that spell of yours is probably a one-time deal. I'll give you two choices. An immediate reunion with your dearly departed friends. The one I'm talking about. We love Marcel. That was smart to do. I think, although Klaus is known for getting it back in blood, like I said, killing her was wild. Especially since that is a child. Like you killing a child, you you have lost your fucking mind. Cause he knows if somebody was to kill his baby, it would be a problem. Klaus, Klaus would fuck some shit up. Yes or no? Like. This is Tim. fucked up. Tim, wake up. Tim, please wake up. Open your eyes. <laughs> no, no. Please wake up. <laughs> please don't leave me alone. It's so fucked up. These drawings, what are they? She drew those the whole time she was in the attic. So they're different than what she draws when she senses magic. These ones. Professors had better watch out. Surprised to see me? After all, you did compel me to leave town. You remember. Chuck went up for decompulsion. Hurts like hell, but it's worth it. Made me realize exactly why I want to stick around. Oh, and Klaus, if you hurt Davina or Josh in any way, I'll expose you to the world, and then you can kiss the French Quarter goodbye forever. Have a nice night.
why do people just humans at that in like both of the vampire diaries and this show feel so comfortable threatening fucking vampires like why why do they feel comfortable to do that even if we're friends we date i am not comfortable enough to be like yeah and if you do such and such i'll expose you like bitch you could have got your shit like snap right there <sighs> these people don't fear for their life so men suck what do you want me to do about it Despite your dire warnings to Marcel, he just can't seem to quit my brother. The two of them stand side by side, ruling this city whilst you're left in here to rot. I want you to help me take New Orleans right out from under all of their noses. And I have something they won't see coming. Someone on the inside. She's quite the resilient girl herself. The Venus sketches. I wonder... They represent some kind of premonition. Yeah. Okay. They seem to suggest something's coming. <sighs> something sinister. Shit is about to get devious, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Good night. Yeah.